Today is May 3rd, and today's quote is entitled, Real Power. Real power is not controlling others. It is controlling yourself. Your greatest victory is to conquer your mind and senses. So Krishna said, nobody can conquer me who hasn't conquered his senses. And uh, I put this quote in because in our society, we look at power as manipulation of material energy, manipulation of people, intelligence, just getting jobs done. You know, I can say I'm successful. But from the spiritual perspective, being able to control yourself is much more valuable and desirable and beneficial than controlling others. Now, you may be in a position where it's your service to control others, but of course we know we control others by serving them, by facilitating them, not by demanding and um, disciplining, unless of course you're a spiritual master or a parent. Sometimes you have to do that, but we're speaking here in general that power over others is power over oneself. And really, if you look at Prabhupada's essential teachings, his essential teachings are, we're being controlled by Maya. As a result of being controlled by Maya, we're taking birth in this material world, which is not desirable, and we're suffering. So indirectly, or you might say directly, we're creating our own suffering by our inability to control our senses. We're in the material world. We have this body because we lack self-control. And if we look at it personally in our own life, so much of the suffering and unhappiness and depression that we suffer is due to a lack of self-control. We want to go right, but we go left because we're pulled left. And so we're not entirely in control of our lives. And how can you really be, how can you reach goals and be happy if you're not in control of your life? So the frustration for us as devotees is we want to go to Krishna. We want to follow. We want to go Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna means in the spiritual energy. Krishna Sarup Shakti. We want to go there, but sometimes we're pulled by Maya. It's very, very frustrating. And the more that happens, the more frustrated we become. And the real pleasure for a devotee, the real happiness, is to be able to set an intention. This is what my spiritual master wants. This is what Prabhupada wants. I want to follow that and do it, whatever that intention is. But being in control of my mind, my desires, my senses, that's real power. And that's how we advance in Krishna consciousness. And that's why Prabhupada said, do austerity. Because from austerity become, comes power. And austerity is a manifestation of sense control. It's a decision to renounce something, to simplify something. That's where your power comes from. Your power doesn't come from your ability to control externally. Although materialistic people people in general might think you're powerful. And Prabhupada describes Krishna book, the great kings who were very powerful, they would come home and they would bow to their wives because they wanted to enjoy with their wives. So were they really that powerful? Oh, they, they conquered many people, but were they really that powerful? No, someone who controls the senses, he's, he's the most powerful. And it's, it's nice to remind ourselves of that so we don't become influenced by the so-called definitions of power we may get in the material world, but always understand where your real power lies. Sri Prabhupada Ki Jai.